Hey everybody, what's up, what's new, and what's going on? We are at the most highly anticipated matchup of the year at the CPB 2012 Badminton Tournaments. Uh, and this is the 11th uh, annual CPB tournament uh, for, I guess, the CPB organization. Anyway, the CPB stands for Canadian Professional Businesses, something along those lines. But anyway, this is Yoga and Arif on the far side versus Kevin Lee and, and Dika Young on the near side. And for those of you who don't know Kevin and, and Dika, chances are you missed out on that epic matchup that I... I guess brought to you guys um, earlier in the month. I, well, I think it was last month. Anyway, uh, I brought to you guys this epic men's doubles finals matchup at the Ryerson Open, which included the likes of Andika and Kevin in the finals. Unfortunately, they, they weren't able to win, but they made it such an exciting match to watch. And this is going to be even better because of the four players here, all four of them are truly great, great national players. But on the far side, Yoga and Arif, they are probably the most decorated players out there in Canada right now, uh, coming from Indonesia just last year. And I, I think it was one of the first tournaments they, they entered in Canada, which was the Toronto Open. They absolutely dominated, uh, pretty much taking everybody out in straight sets. Uh, I, I, I think uh, in the finals, it went to three sets in, in singles for Yoga. But... Um, he just took everybody out, took out the number one ranked player in straight sets, uh, David Snyder, uh, in the semifinals, and pretty much killed a anybody who got in his way. These guys are absolutely insane, and we're gonna have to see what Andika and Kevin have to do, uh, ha have to do to, you know, compete against these amazing, amazing players from Indonesia. Um, they're, they're, they're just... People, well, in terms of talent, you've uh, people in Canada have never seen anybody who have played so well or who have demonstrated such tremendous skills in badminton. And right now, everybody in the crowd is watching this matchup. Everybody's breaking out the noisemakers. Uh, there's blowhorns actually uh, in the crowd. If you can uh, hear in the background, there's ev like everybody's cheering and and trying to see you know what they can learn from this match and how how much talent there is for from all four of these players because all four of these players are essentially national level uh, players they are the cream of the crop when it comes to badminton in Canada and so far Yoga and Arif look like they're dominating but Kevin and Andika are keeping it really really close so we're gonna see you know, whether they can maintain this, uh, this sort of pace because Yogi and Arif definitely have another level they can step up into. But Andika, as long as Andika and Kevin stay consistent, stay, stay in the attack and don't give up too many easy points, they're going to make this as tight as possible. But in either case, whether this will end up being a very tight match or whether this will be a blowout because Yogi and Arif are the, by far the favorites coming into this matchup we are in for a treat because there is just so much talent in all four of these players that anybody watching this matchup will will just ooh and ah about all the shot making all the crazy crazy skills that they have and it's just so much fun to watch these four players go at it in a tournament environment so, wow, okay. <laughs> so, a little bit of a half smash right to the right hip of Kevin Lee. And Kevin really can't do anything about it. it he was caught jammed. He didn't know whether to go for his forehand or his backhand. And that's one of those, you know, really accurate shots that you get from these, you know, essentially international level players from uh, Yoga and Arif. Uh, for those of you, I, I believe Yoga is the one in the yellow shoes and Arif is the one in the, in the white shoes both of them equally talented uh, let me just check out their stats right now so Yoga is the double specialist uh, who has been ranked as high as number four in the Indonesian uh, national rankings and as high as number 20 
in international ranks. Whereas a uh, Reef, he's more of a single specialist. Uh, of course, he's playing doubles uh, today with Yoga, but it doesn't matter. These guys, both of these guys, are extremely talented. They could play whatever they event they want in Canada, and they could show a a everybody who's boss, no matter what event they're playing. But anyway, for for a Reef, his. Uh, highest ranking uh, at the junior national level in Indonesia was number one so he was the best junior player in Indonesia at one time so and, you know that's a testament to how just how good this guy is and in comparison I, I think Andika who used to train in the same school as uh, in Indonesia as Arif and Yoga you know, he's been as high as number three, I think, in the junior rankings. So, I mean, he's definitely up there. But when it comes to um, raw talent, there there usually is a bit of a gap between number one and number three. As you can see here, even though Antika's, Antika's defense is just usually impenetrable, Yoga and Arif just make it so easy. They make it look so easy just trying to uh, break through the defense of Antika and doing so, doing it so efficiently right there from the front of the net, covering both sides of the court. And right now, Yoga and Arif are up by 2, 13-11. Mind you, um, I think uh, there is a bit of a mistake in either the score counting or, or the service position of uh, Antika and... And Kevin there because he was serving on the right side at 11, I think. But anyway, um, when I was making the scoreboard, I just go by the the number of points one, and I don't go by whatever score line they think th uh, Andy and Kevin think they are. So even though it's 12, they're they're going to be serving on the left hand side, um, and so we're going to see whether they correct that or not, or whether it's going to continue doing so. But at this point, it, I mean, both Yoga and Arif, they are kind of trying it. At, in some of these rallies but you're not seeing them really bring out their A game just yet because they're getting easy shots like that breaking breaking the defense of both Kevin and and Andika and it seems like neither of them even though their uh, their defense is so spectacular compared to everybody else in Canada it seems like that you know there's really not much they can do right now because they're they're on their back foot they're not leaning uh, they're not leaning forward they're not looking to attack they're just waiting for yoga and reef to finish the rally and, and to to stop attacking before they could do anything so they're going to have to take advantage of whatever opportunities they have available and when it comes to such an aggressive attack from both yoga and reef a reef in the back uh, back uh, of the court attacking so well and moving in for that second smash and Dika again couldn't do anything about it and 17-12 wow that is just amazing uh, Kevin did everything he can to get to that uh, to get to that return to sm uh, return that smash but at the end of the day it was you know all that effort was to no avail and 18-12 what can Andika and Kevin do? They can keep attacking, and that's what they need to do. Five points down still. Uh, Kevin serving, and, or no, Andika serving, and uh, I think they're back on track again because it's 13 and uh, Andika serving on the left. Uh, so that worked out pretty well, I think. But as the game goes on, they're back on serve. Serving on the right side, as he should be, and Dika serving. Let's see what he can do. Big flick serve, but oh my goodness. He knew he had that. He had that going. He was going to drop it in front of the net, force the lift, but unable to execute. And now, down by five. And it's a re-serving, 19-14. Ooh, careless error right there. Don't want to give up too many of those mistakes, Kevin. And game points, 20-14. Great trick shot right there from Andika. Forcing... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Everybody's cheering for that shot. Faked the big jump smash. Sliced it right across the court into the corner in front of the net. And neither Yoga and Reef could do anything about it. And finally... Oh, um, it doesn't look like they're finished playing yet. So they're going to keep on playing until they're happy with the scoreline, I suppose. Because... Yoga and Arif have 22 points out of 21, and I guess they have game point now. We don't really know. So, 22-15 the scoreline currently, 
And let's see what they can do. Uh, that was a slight miss hit, uh, or I think it was Yoga that slightly tipped the birdie at the front of the net and giving Endika yet another chance to serve at 22-16. This game should have been over, but we'll see what happens now. Running jump smash right there and great net coverage. And Dika unable to do anything about that. And 23 16 is the scoreline. I think that's the end of the game. And we're going to set number two.